So the new data management and sharing policy, as I'm sure you've heard, is now in effect. Um, it went into effect on January 25th, 2023 for all of our competitive applications that are coming in. And so what that includes is a requirement for, in all of your applications, the submission of a data management and sharing plan, which is going to outline the plans for managing all of the scientific data that's generated through our NIH-funded research. And then once those plans are submitted and grant awards are issued, recipients will be responsible for complying with those approved plans as a term and condition of award. So you can see here on the slide some of the required elements of the data management and sharing plan. These are the things that are expected to be captured. So that includes the type of data that your research will be generating, um, including related tools, software, or code. Um, standards for the data, if you have common data elements or data standards that are being used, information on data preservation, the access and timelines, so where you're planning to store your data, how that data will be made available, all of that kind of information, as well as information on how your institution plans to oversee the management and sharing of the data in the way that you've laid out in your plan. And the expectations for sharing data from NIH are that data should be shared no later than the time of an associated publication, so when you have a publication associated with that research project, or the end of the award if the data remains unpublished, and that's whichever comes first. And so just to lay out a little bit what it looks like in terms of the pre-award process. So the plan is submitted in the application as an other attachment. And even though that's coming in with the initial application, it's not included as part of peer review, unless it is a funding opportunity where data sharing is integral to the project. So for example, if it's a data coordinating center or another program where the whole purpose is sharing data, in that case, your plan will be made available to the peer reviewers. And that will be specified in your opportunity announcement. Once the applications make their way through peer review and are assigned to IC program officials, the program officials are going to work with institutions to resolve any issues and finalize the plan. So the PO will be assessing whether the plan meets NIH's needs and complies with the policies. If there's any need for revisions, the POs will work with the institution to collect an updated plan, but it will only need to be resubmitted if there are things that need to be updated or corrected. And then once accepted, that plan becomes a term and condition of award. Once the grant's been issued and the plan is a term and condition, we then expect you to provide updates in your RPPR each year. And so that'll look like providing an update on the data that's been generated, whether or not you've proceeded with sharing it as you laid out in your plan, and if there are any changes to the plan that have happened throughout the year or are anticipated for the next year. And one thing I did want to touch on is prior approval and a revised plan are required if you're making significant changes to your plan. So if there's been a change in the scientific direction, a change in your data repository, if the timeline for sharing has changed, any of those kind of significant changes need to come in for NIH prior approval. And then we'll be reviewing compliance with the plans annually as part of the RPPR review.